Welcome everyone to Tech Chaser Melbourne. In this video, we're going to go through the top five recommended phones under five hundred dollars in Australia. Let's go. So the choice of phones we choose here are based on a few things. The phone will be only new and will be available in stock at most retail stores like JB, Harvey Norman, Officeworks, etc, etc, etc. There will be phones based on uh, specs and performance of the phone. Uh, the phones online we will be not look, uh, comparing as well as this is just based on retails. Uh, we'll also look at uh, availability for cases and screen protectors and also go through third party repair availability. I won't go into secondhand phones um, as much as prices fluctuate too much and you don't know what problems they might have. At number five, we have the Vivo Y12. Not many of you know about Vivo in Australia, but Vivo is owned by a Chinese company called BBK Electronics. It's also known to own other companies like you might know of Oppo, OnePlus and Realme. The Vivo Y12 is the cheapest among our pick at $199. It weighs in about 190 grams and it has a 6.35 inch display LCD screen. It also has a triple camera with a 13 megapixel as the main camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 2 megapixel depth camera. Uh, in terms of the selfie camera, it does come with a 8, 8 megapixel front camera, which is quite decent to take uh, decent uh, selfies, and it is also powered by 3 gigabytes of RAM. It also has a three and a half headphone jack, which is nice to see, as it will be good to use uh, standard headphones to plug into your phone to listen to your own music. Um, this phone does support dual SIM and it does have 64 gigabytes of onboard memory. It does have an expandable SD slot, however, we could not find any information on how much it can support up to. The phone is running an Android basis and it is powered by a 5000 milliamp battery. Now, some stores might carry some basic cases for this phone, however, if you want a case for this phone, it's best to order it online. The only store that I know that might carry these cases would be Caseway and I'll leave it a description below so you can find their nearest store. When, when it comes down to repairs for this phone, some stores might be able to do a screen replacement. However, considering the price of this phone, it most likely won't be worth repairing so it's better off if you back up your phone on a regular basis if something were to happen to the phone. At number four, we have the Oppo AX5S. The AX5S has been out for a while now and does make our cut for the top five. Coming in at a price of $239, the phone weighs 170 grams, which is the lightest among our picks. The phone does come with a 6.2 inch LCD display screen and does come with dual cameras with being 13 megapixel as the main and two megapixel depth camera. The phone does have a eight megapixel front camera and is also powered by three gigabytes of RAM. Good thing about this phone as well is it still does have the three and a half millimeter headphone jack, which you'll be able to use normal earphones phone does support dual sim and it is also uh, powered by 64 gigs of onboard memory and it does have an expandable sd card slot which supports up to 256 gig the phone is running android and also has a 4230 milliamp battery the phone has been around for a while now so in terms of finding a case you'll have a better chance for the ax5s compared to the vivo y12 However, it doesn't mean that you'll be able to find that all stores as choices will be very limited. No, God, please, no, no, no. Now, when it comes down to repairs, this phone might be a little bit difficult. No, because it is starting to get old. However, in saying that prices have dropped in terms of screen replacements. So most stores will be able to do it as well. And it is probably a phone that we would say that it is recommended if you do break your screen to be repaired. At number three, we have the Samsung A21S. This phone is to replace Samsung's best entry phone, the Samsung A20. The phone comes in at $329 and weighs 192 grams. The phone does come with a 6.5 inch HD plus LCD screen. When it comes down to the camera, Samsung seems to not disappoint even at entry level using a 48 megapixel main camera. It also has an eight megapixel ultra wide camera, 
2 megapixel depth camera and a 2 megapixel macro camera, making this quad camera a very nice feature for its price range. However, pictures with low light might not be best, but a very good overall camera. Uh, the phone does come with 3 gigabytes of RAM and it does have the 3.5mm headphone jack. The Australian model does come with single SIM and with 32 gigs of onboard memory. It does have an expandable SD memory support to up to 512 gigs, which is required if you plan to take a lot of photos and videos at high quality. The phone is running Android and is NFC uh, compatible. The phone is operated by a 5000 milliamp battery and does support 15 watt fast charge. The phone does have fingerprint scanner at the back of the phone. Um, now when it comes down to finding a case, uh, they are starting to become very, very popular and in demand. However, the variety is still very limited in Australia. Now when it comes to repair, you should not have a problem finding a certified or third party repairer. However, due to uh, Samsung's high price in screen replacements, we don't think that the prices for screen replacements will be cheap. So keep that in mind when buying any Samsung device. At number two, we have the Oppo A91. The A91 is also Cancer's Blue's pick when it comes to a budget phone under $600. The phone does cost $449 and weighs in at 172 grams, which is our second lightest phone within the $500 range. The phone has a 6.4 inch Super AMOLED display, which is very good to see considering we won't find these type of screens at entry level. The camera on this phone has a 48 megapixel main camera 8 megapixel ultra wide, 2 megapixel macro, and a 2 megapixel depth camera. While the front camera it has a 16 megapixel, which will take decent selfies. This phone does have the most RAM within our top 5 picks, coming in at 8 gigabytes of RAM. So, in terms of loading and running apps, it will be a lot more smoother. The phone does come with dual SIM and with 128 gigabytes of onboard memory with an expandable memory slot of 256 gigs. The phone is running Android and is powered with a 4025 milliamp battery and also has a 20 watt fast charge. It has been advertised that 50% charge of this phone will only take 30 minutes. That is quite impressive considering that it is a budget phone. The problem with this phone is going to be the same as most Oppo series. Cases for this phone will be a bit of a problem as most stores will not carry it. Very limited stores will carry it, but less than a handful will have very limited, if not any cases for this phone. Now when it comes down to repairs, even though this phone does have a super AMOLED display, the prices for these phones are quite reasonable. So for us, we give the phone a thumbs up in terms of screen replacement based on the phone's value at this stage. At number one, we have the Samsung A31. This is one of Samsung's new release phones and this phone would be the phone that stands out of the crowd for under $500. The phone does cost $449 and weighs in at 185 grams. Samsung has put in 6.4 inch Super AMOLED display which is good to see at an entry point level for a smartphone. It also has the uh, quad camera setup like the A21s which also has a 48 megapixel main camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel macro and a 5 megapixel depth camera. The phone only has 4 gigabytes of RAM and as an entry level, comparing it to the Oppo A91, we would expect that it would have 8 gigabytes of RAM, which is a bit of a disappointment in my opinion. The phone is a single SIM and does come with 128 gigabytes of onboard memory and also has the option of an expandable SD memory card which can support up to 512 gigs. The phone does have a 3.5mm headphone jack. The phone is running Android 10 and it also supports NFC. The phone is also powered up by a 5000 milliamp battery and also comes with a 15 watt fast charge option. The phone does have fingerprint scanner on the screen, however, it is not as quick when it, you compare it to their high-end phones. Cases for this phone is the same as the A21s, so finding them in a store should not be a problem as it, it is starting to pick up into the Australian market. However, 
when it comes down to an actual screen replacement for these phones we might run into an issue even though it is a super amulet display again you are running into the brand of samsung samsung phones are considered as a premium phone in australia and their screens would usually be about 55 percent of the phone's value what? so keep this in mind again when it turns out to be a samsung phone again with the actual current specs of the phone has well, I would say that this is a very great phone. I'll leave a link of places where you might be able to find accessories for these phones in the link below. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Until then, this is Tech Chaser Melbourne signing out.